ERA, and I'm going to make it block a bench with ankle only. We're going to talk about basic bony movement and basic terminology around the crease. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the bony stance, basic stance. So as you see in this position, Megan is very comfortable, her legs are spread out, her balance is towards the front of her, of her feet, her stick is along the ice, her nami glove is in front of her body, and her block is in the ready position. Another thing you notice about her as she goes down is that there's not many room, there's not much room underneath her armpits. That's really important. So if Megan can go up and show you a regular stance with her arms out like this, you'll see that some goalies tend to do this. Put their arms up, put their hands up like this. And that creates a lot of holes to shoot at. So you'll notice that Megan's relaxed and go down to the basic stance. That's a very good stance to be in. If you look at her, there's not much to shoot at. So Megan has a good basic stance. The second thing we're going to talk about now is movement around the crease. So Megan will show us a left to right basic shuffle. You'll notice that she's always in control, head up, glove, and block her in the right position. Okay? Now the next thing we're going to show is a circular shuffle. A circular shuffle, Megan will start off at one of the posts, come out to the top of the circle of the crease, go into a circular round, and then go back to a post. And reverse. in the crease in the protected zone. One of the things that a lot of goalies tend to do on a circular shuffle is to go all the way around here and shuffle and shuffle over here. The problem with doing this is that she's so far out of the crease, she's gone to what we call the Bermuda Triangle for bringing goalies. This triangle over here for a goalie is a terrible place to be. It's hard for her to come back if she needs to slide back to a goal she's too far out. So what she should be doing she should be coming out around, tracing her circular shuffle here in her box, and going straight back here. That's good. Now, we're also going to show you a T push. Not all bullies like to use the T push because it puts them out of control. It essentially is in her, break, in her basic stance, she parks one of her feet to the direction she wants to go to, and then she goes in that direction. She goes to the left. And she goes in that direction, to the right, points, and she goes in that direction. The T push is faster than a shuffle. But the disadvantage of a T push is if you're in the route of doing a T push and the ring changes direction or a shot comes at you, it's harder to react. Whereas a shuffle, the toes are pointed in front of you and it's easy to make a quick save. Okay? So now we're going to show what we call basic butterfly. A basic butterfly, there's two components to it. The first thing is, she has to keep her stick down, no matter what, even though her pants go down. And the second thing is, she's always in a position to make the save. Okay? So now we're going to do it three times up and down, so she can show how quickly she can go up and down. Now you notice, she's always using her right leg to go up. It's important for goalie coaches, when they're coaching goalies, to make them use the opposite leg to lift up. So when she goes down on her butterfly, you use your stronger leg to get up. You should be focusing your goalies on using your weaker leg, if you're a weak hand person, to get up. So make it you use your left leg to get up, please. First leg up is your left leg. Okay, good stop. Now, the last drill we're gonna do is a movement drill, and it's, it's basically backward skating. Now, goalies don't tend to skate a lot, but it's important that they backward skate a lot so that they get movements in. Now, one of the drills we can work on, and we'll have to another drill that we show it with movement, but really, when a goalie is skating backwards, let's face me, Megan, what do you want your backward position? You're sitting down, comfortable, leaning on your skates, and then going backwards, okay? Always in control, always ready to make the save. So that's the basic goalie movement and terminology.